you talk about um, increasing sort of the advertising of bursaries, right? Uh, so what, what do you think is wrong with, with the advertising now? Are, are there a lot of bursaries that a lot of students don't know about? I think because the University of York is a Russell Group University and it's in a very affluent area, um, the cost of living, the cost of accommodation can be very off-putting for students. So to increase the working class students here, I think it's important to get them before they apply to university. Um, and I know there are a lot of bursaries available, but from my own experiences, people that I've met since being at university, they don't always know about it. They say that, oh, I got emailed and it was a surprise, I didn't know. So I don't think it's communicated very well to students, so that is something that would need to be improved. So, so it's more about um, increasing the intake of working class students rather than the working class students currently yeah, yeah. Uni. So okay. making the student body more diverse um, and then also maybe helping second or third years who haven't had to access those bursaries before and personal circumstances have mean they need them now. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so how, uh, you also mentioned sort of like having regular events uh, to sort of meet, uh, meet other working class students yeah. and give out each other advice. Uh, how, how do you think this would help other working class students? Uh, are you not worried that it might create a little sort of bubble? Where, um, where they'd be just the working class? Or yeah, so I think that could be a possible issue. But I think the main uh, problem is that because when you come from a low-income background or a disadvantaged background, I know personally, it's very hard to be in such a different culture and everyone has such different experiences to you and it can make you feel not as welcome. So I think it's more important to support the well-being of the students and to make sure that their university life experience is just as good as everyone else and not just the studies aspect of it. Yeah, of course, uh, I definitely agree because I'm similarly working class as well. <laughs> um, and w what kind of events were you maybe thinking? W would it just be sort of uh, bar meetups or would it be... Something so a range of things, whether that be nights out, like social nights out, um, things in the day for, you know, non-alcohol activities um, or even activities that maybe have a financial barrier to them that students wouldn't be able to do on their own because they can't afford it. So finding funding for that and then, you know, doing trips to somewhere that's a bit more exciting and that will just make university life more interesting for everyone. Yeah, of course. That sounds like a, like a nice incentive. And how about also um, you mentioned... Uh, like sort of a mailing list mm -hmm. with like sort of CV opportunities. Yeah. Um, do you know of any sort of CV opportunities that currently a lot of students don't know about or is this I just a working idea? Uh, so yeah, it's a working idea, but I think there are lots of opportunities at York and sometimes all the information can be a little bit daunting and hard to navigate. And if you haven't had any sort of extracurricular activity experience in the past, then you might need a little bit of help to, to navigate your way around or even help knowing what your career would want from you. So talking to employers about what skills and qualities they would want from you and then, you know, helping students to find those activities that will help them build their CV connected to that. Of course. Uh, uh, would, you, would you want that, those kind of mailing lists to be sent out to sort of all students about, to, to make it available for, for everyone? Or? I think it would be to all students that want to mm. access it. Thank you very much, Eric, and thanks, Laura. We now go over to Studio Blue. Accountability and Scrutiny Chair. The Accountability and Scrutiny